Hi, I'm Cliff Levin, President of Inati USA, and your narrator for this assembly video. If I can put this chair together, you can too. Step one is to attach the footrest to the main body of the chair. Your chair will arrive in the fully reclined position. Leave it like this, take the remote control, pass the remote control cord over the back of the chair, and place the remote control in the center of the chair. Now place the footrest near the main body of the chair. You may notice that the footrest lengthens and shortens, and that's perfectly normal. Now we're going to take the air hose from the footrest and attach it to the air hose fitting on the main body of the chair. Make sure you carefully work the chrome colored air hose clamp up snug against the fitting that comes out of the main body of the chair. And then twist that clamp so that the pointy ends face inward. The electrical connector fits only one way. It requires very little force and when you have it right it clicks right into place. Please pause this video now. Now I'm going to show you how to install the cable cover for the footrest connectors. Those tabs fit into slots located in the chair main body. You'll easily see these. Slide those tabs in and then slide the cable cover upward. Now insert the hex bolt with the small washers using the hex wrench and tighten the cable cover to the main chair body. Once the bolt is snug, just a moderate amount of tightening will do. Please pause this video now. Now we're going to attach the footrest pivot pins. There are footrest clamps located on either side of the front of the chair. You're going to loosen both of these clamps. I'm showing that here, first on the right side of the chair, now on the left side of the chair. Now that the jaws of the pivot pin clamps have been loosened, I'm now going to lift the pivot pins of the footrest into place, placing them deep into those jaws, and then using my hex wrench to tighten those clamps down on those pivot pins, as shown here, first on one side of the chair, and then on the other side of the chair. These pivot pin clamps require only moderate tightening. Please pause this video now. You'll notice that there's a loose flap of upholstery located on the leg rest. This upholstery has a piece of Velcro, which adheres to a piece of Velcro on the underside of the seat on the main body of the chair. There are also upholstered caps that fit over the pivot pin housings on either side of the chair. These caps go on like socks and there's a pin that holds them in place. Please pause this video now. Now I'll show you how to install the right armrest of the chair. First, loosen and remove the large hand nut located at the back of the chair. Notice that this chair has an air hose and an electrical connector that comes out of the right side. Make sure the air hose has one of the chrome color small air hose clamps on it prior to continuing. See the pocket I'm pointing to? That tells me that I have the right side armrest of the chair and this is where we're going to start. At the back side of the right armrest is a small zipper. Find it and unzip that zipper the entire length of the armrest. You'll notice that much of the upholstery comes loose. Now flip back the upholstery on the outside portion of the armrest. You'll expose a cover plate, remove that cover plate, and notice two connectors, an air hose connector and an electrical connector. Please pause this video now. Okay, now we're going to mount the right armrest to the right side of the chair. It mounts in three places, one in back and two in front. The electrical connector and air hose pass through the round hole. Now we're ready to lift the armrest into place. 
Make sure you pass those connectors through the round hole located toward the front part of the armrest. Lift it in place. Look for the pins. I just attached the front portion. Now I'm attaching the back pin. And hold it in place. Now reach down, lift the loose upholstery exposing the connectors as well as the anchor points for the right armrest of the chair. Take a hex bolt, attach it to the end of your hex wrench, and insert these bolts first into the low anchor point and then into the high anchor point. Tighten both of these moderately. Please pause this video now. Now that the armrest is attached to the right side of the chair, we're going to connect the air hose snugly onto the fitting that comes off the main chair body and use our little silver air hose clamp and make sure that that's also snug against the fitting. Then we're going to connect the electrical connector which connects in only one orientation and when you have it right it slides on very easily. Replace the plastic cover we removed earlier, pull the upholstery down over the armrest, and wait to zip it up. We'll deal with that later. Please pause this video now. We're now looking at the back right side of the armrest. That's that hand nut we took off earlier. It goes right there. This is how you do it. Hold the bottom down, pull the top out. That exposes the bolt that the nut attaches to. Now here's where a little dexterity helps. My right hand is actually holding the bottom portion of the armrest in while pulling the top portion out. This exposes the bolt which I'm going to attach this hand nut to. It takes a little bit of doing to get it started. Small hands are often better than big hands for this operation but as soon as you do get it started Tightening it is a cinch. Moderate tightening is all you need to do. Use your fingers and you'll notice that even after it's anchored, the backrest still moves and this is by design. Congratulations! You've successfully attached the right side of the chair. Now it's time to attach the left armrest. The steps are exactly the same. Please pause this video now. So far, we haven't supplied any power to the chair. Now it's time to attach the power cord. Plug the power cord into the back of the chair and the other end into a wall outlet. Reach down near the power cord plug on the chair and turn the power on. Next, choose the up recline button on the remote control to move the backrest of the chair to its fully upright position. Just hold the button until the chair stops moving. If you've been wondering when we're finally going to get to zipping up the armrest upholstery, well that time has come. Toward the front of the chair, on the right armrest, you're going to find the zipper. Slowly work it toward the back of the chair. The upholstery fits the armrests very snugly, so it may take some doing for you to work the zipper along the entire length of the chair. Once you've properly zipped up the upholstery on the right armrest, repeat the step on the left armrest. Please pause this video now. Congratulations! You're done! Your Sonyo should now provide you with years of trouble-free service. If you have any questions, please call the number that you see on the screen and dial extension 106 for technical support.